Hello and welcome to the second video in this series on insect pest exclusion. This video describes the process of making a net house. Net house designs can vary greatly depending on target insect and materials available. There are three recommended IPM approaches for sustainable farming systems. Level 1, system-based practices like trap crops, and Level 3, use of biorational insecticides, have been discussed separately in the training modules available on Alabama Vegetable IPM website. Video part 1 in this series provides basic principles of insect pest exclusion and study results. This video discusses the construction method for a net house. This kind of protected agriculture is suitable for small organic or natural farms with returns on investment within two to three crop cycles. A net house is a sealed structure that excludes insect pests throughout the growing season. It is a semi-permanent structure big enough to allow the use of conventional farm equipment. In Alabama study, we found that the net house can effectively reduce or eliminate thrips, white flies, stink bugs, leaf-footed bugs, and many species of moss using a 50 mesh insect screen. Reduction in insecticide usage was nearly 95% resulting in major cost savings on product and labor. Note that farmers can use high tunnels or other simpler structures to bring down the cost with partial or full netting. There are many benefits of net house vegetable production system in terms of crop yield and quality. Our findings related to the significant reduction of insect pests and insecticide usage are consistent with past research. The following slides will outline the net house construction process. Producers are encouraged to develop their own design after considering the target pest and available resources. Here is a design for a large net house that was 150 feet by 46 feet. The height of this structure allowed conventional farm equipment to be used for planting and also kept hot air away from the plant canopy. The side walls were 14 feet tall and sufficiently away from the crop rows, that is, the plants did not touch the side walls. Wooden poles were used for building the net house. We used wooden poles for this project since the 50 mesh screen was a heavy fabric. Holes were made in the ground using tractor mounted equipment as shown. Wooden poles were partially buried in the ground and soil around the poles was compacted for stability. Once all the wooden poles are in the ground, a hole was drilled on the top 6 inch and steel cables were stretched over the top as shown. In our experience, frequent storms and strong winds can destabilize a net house, so the steel cables help in sharing weight of the structure. We have also constructed small net houses and found the addition of cable support a worthwhile effort to anchor the structure to the ground. Steel cables on both sides were anchored to the ground. The large roll of insect netting or fabric can be seen on the left. A high quality insect net can last four or more years under ideal conditions. The fabric pieces were stitched together using a handheld sewing machine. A double stitch with reinforcement was done for all pieces. Before putting the fabric over the cables and wooden poles, a trench digger was used to create a three foot deep furrow parallel to the side walls on both sides. Insect netting or fabric was stretched over the steel cables and wooden poles. Some other designs, such as U-frames, may make it easier to stretch the fabric and make a net house. Once the fabric was laid over the poles, the fabric was tucked into the ground about 3 feet in order to make a tight sidewall on both sides. Tight sidewall allows pores to remain open and improves airflow within the net house. Net house can be large to allow the entry of conventional planting equipment as shown in this picture. End walls and screen doors can be installed after basic soil preparation is over. Vegetable transplanting can be done after complete sealing of the net house. It is important to check transplants for insect infestation if they are grown outside the net house. Limit traffic entering the structure to prevent accidental pest entry through the double doors. Check the entire fabric frequently to detect any tear and repair immediately. Due to high heat condition in the south, a net house will require cooling. A retractable shade cloth can be installed inside to reflect heat. In this case, it was easier to install the shading using the wooden poles and good quality nylon cables. 
Producers can use fans inside the structure to improve airflow and reduce the pockets of humidity that may cause disease problems. Net House is not the silver bullet solution to all pest problems, but it is a useful technology for sustainable crop production, especially high value fruits and vegetables. Insect netting can be integrated with high tunnels and other structures in order to provide significant relief from insect pests. Please check video part 3 for low cost applications of insect net or fabric suitable for small plot intensive cropping systems. Full results of our net house study is available in multiple formats. Popular articles and bulletins are available on the Alabama Vegetable IPM website. A journal article is also available for those interested. Please consult the lead author or a commercial horticulture regional extension agent for further details. Attend a specialty crop production meeting for hands-on training on insect scouting, IPM, and beneficial insects. We thank the funding agencies, industry partners, and cooperating producers for supporting the Alabama Vegetable IPM program. Please subscribe to the Alabama IPM Communicator Newsletter by emailing the lead author.